is the performance evaluation for endotracheal suctioning using the closed system suction system. Step one, follow standard precautions including hand washing. Two, obtain required equipment. For this procedure you need non-sterile gloves, stethoscope, eye protection, and sterile saline packets. A manual resuscitator bag is necessary in the event the problem does arise with a ventilator. And the uh, vacuum gauge pump or suction system. Assembles equipment and checks equipment. We have a negative 120 suction, and I will test the resuscitation bag. Doesn't squeeze when I close the opening, so it is functional. Positions the patient appropriately. Assesses the need for suctioning. Mr. Jones, I'm just going to listen to your lungs a moment to see if you need to be suctioned. Oh, I hear a little bit of gurgling and some snoring sounds. Hyperinflates and hyperoxygenates the patient. It's going to be done with a resuscitation bag, or in this case, with the use of the ventilator, setting it at 100% oxygen and hyperoxygenating and hyperinflating with extra breaths. Inserts catheter into the airway. Mr. Jones, I'm going to slide this catheter down into your lungs and just suction the mucus out. Here we go. Advances until the resistance is felt. Suction is already set at negative 120. Applies vacuum suction for no more than 15 seconds while withdrawing. How you doing? Are you okay? Sterile technique is maintained because the suction catheter is in a sterile bag. Listens for breath sounds and oxygenates following the suction procedure using just, again the ventilator. Let me just give you a big breath again. Sounds as though I need to make one more pass. Instills saline as required. This may be a procedure not used in all hospitals. You okay? Repeat suctioning. Okay, I'm going to slide the catheter down again. How you doing? You okay? And then hyper oxygenates and hyperinflates again with ventilator. Let me give you another good couple of deep breaths. Repositions the patient. You okay? Get comfortable? and returns patient to previous oxygen therapy if it was changed. Cleans up after the procedure. So I'm going to squeeze this saline and into the device. Clearing. The cleanup procedure includes cleaning the catheter by rinsing the catheter with saline. And then closes the suction control so it cannot be inadvertently turned on when the patient moves or rolls over. How you doing, Mr. Jones? Are you okay? I know that's not very comfortable, but you did great. I'm going to give you a rest for a while, and I will probably be back later to suction you again if you need to. Records procedure and results of the procedure in the patient's chart in Here, the appropriate area. Here is your patient call bell in case you need the nurse while I'm away. This completes the performance evaluation for endotracheal suctioning using the closed suction system.